Hello, Trevor with Pro Glass Mobile. We finally got our iPhone 6 Plus Touch IC to do. Um, after getting my cameras, I was kind of a little dry spell there. Finally got one in, and we're ready to, to knock her out. So we got the phone on the board. This one has the, the classic gray bars at the top, so we're just going to replace the mason. What I'm doing right now is just removing the overfill off of a problem area, the proximity sensor and front camera. Hopefully I got some better audio this time. I'm actually recording this on a phone. I'm tired of my Cameras, horrible, horrible audio. You know, I didn't have an attachment for an external mic. I will invest in a mic and camera eventually. I just don't have the money to spend, you know, fifteen hundred dollars on a good quality camera and mic. Especially after buying the scoping camera. Now you can skip, you know, any precautionaries. Um, you're fast and smooth. You probably won't have any secondary defects. But I like to be safe, I'm sorry. The Wi-Fi connector in here. Just lay some captain tape over that. Then we'll lay some heat sinks, just standard issue nickels or quarters. And we are set to go. The mason in the shop. Hopefully we can get this on the first shot. Fluxy, fluxy, fluxy. Using a chip quick. SMD291. It is a no clean flux, uh, but we'll clean it once we're done. But we can test without cleaning it. I better grab my masons out first. Huh? Hopefully I can work on my eye contact with the camera. I know that's something I lack with. I think that I lack with it in real life too. Uh, so maybe I can help get better at it when I talk on camera as well as in person. Um, kind of a shy guy and trying to trying to break out of that. Not shy though, but I had a few drinks in me. Not sure everyone can relate with that. Anyone that shy and drinks. Don't break right out of my show.
come in and retin these with leaded solder. I turn on my fume extractor so I don't get cancer here. I always forget to turn that on. I used to use WIC until I came across STS Telecom's little video and he just retends them. I'm so glad I found his video. I was actually referred there from a buddy of mine who does this work too. Um, so I was lifting pads. I was, I was lifting all the non-connect pads. So I know it wasn't too big of a deal, but you know, scary stuff. I don't like doing it. So we'll see how this works out. Seems promising. want enough flux on the board. Tip it out, I'll clean it up. And then we're going to lay more flux back down and place our chip. If it's your first time attempting this, check the orientation of the IC that you're replacing so you don't place it on upside down. more flux. Put on our new Mason IC. as close to the money as possible to prevent bridging, which will give you a full short. I've done it. Seems it always takes me the longest parts, and never am sure if I'm getting it where I need to be. Just play with it forever.
notice it snapped just a second ago. And adjust it, but it snapped into place. Usually about 30 seconds usually is the magic number if you're running with the correct temperature. Um, every hot air rework is going to be a little different, so you'll have to figure that out. Uh, but I've noticed mine operates at 390 fairly well. I don't know if that's 390 degrees Celsius. I don't know if that's uh, higher than what's recommended, but that's what I use. Alright, so we did it right the first time. And we're done. And that's how fast these can be, um, as long as you get them right the first time with no secondary defects. Um, does take obviously some practice and some uh, discipline to be able to do it, you know, quick like this. Uh, it's not, not the easiest job. Let it cool down a little bit. It snapped pretty far when it snapped, so hopefully uh, I didn't get any bridging going on. Let's look at my proximity sensor line. Front facing camera. See if any, any of these are wiggling. Oh, they all still seem to be stuck where they're supposed to be, so that's good. All right, we'll cool down enough. Some people like to see the whole process of the, the tear down and the replacement. But you guys know how to tear down the phone. You guys don't need to see that. That's boring. I don't even like, I don't tear down the phone. I make my employees do it. But I do not like disassembling phones all day. I did that for two years. The general repair store. I have to chain down still, It'll still help out. So we got an Apple logo, so that's a good thing. So there's no short since phone is booting up. Make sure there's no lines across the screen and then we'll test all areas of the screen for dead spots. Notice the very far left side of the screen likes to keep giving me issues. We do have touch. Let me go get the passcode. So we're in the phone. Let's check our front facing camera. Front facing camera is still working. Perfect. Okay, there's just a little bit of a lag. Still, the phone must have been loading. All right, now let's go check our proximity sensor. So we're just gonna record here. If you put your hand over here, the phone should black out like it does, and it is recording our voice. Hit the playback. 
Okay, and I listened to the speakers coming out there too. So everything so far is so good. And we will clean this flux off before we put it back together. Now let's go to the Wi-Fi, the, one of the ultimate tests here. Let's actually test the keyboard real quick. So far left is working, or I seem to get the most trouble. Cancel. I don't have an iPhone, I suck at working them. But read all. Yep. Perfect. So no dead spots. And the last test, the Wi-Fi. It's not grayed out. So this phone is done and ready to be put back together. And that's how quick it can be as long as you're smooth. Um, you know, smooth and fast. Smooth this fast, fast is smooth. So that's a uh, iPhone 6 Plus Mason Touch IC. Um, thanks for watching. Travel Pro Lab Phone. test real quick others do the drop touch uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna power definitely so you don't get it okay, I'm gonna push see if there's any prime print not um, that but yeah so Connectors, the touch ICs. Or it's not getting any drop of touch. All right, we'll see.